People. Planet. Prosperity. All three are completely linked in Project One Circle. As the First Nations people of Canada rise again. First Nations people were the original inhabitants of what is now Canada. With cultures spanning thousands of years. Predating European settlers by millennia. First Nations people established this land. But our more recent history has left them behind. Through it all, the flame of First Nation cultures continued to burn bright. And we could see it ready to roar. So we posed two questions to dozens of First Nations communities. What do you need right now? And what do you want for your future? With that, Project One Circle was born. After 10 years of working in Zambia, Africa, building a scaled and sustained food security project, it was time to focus on people, planet, and prosperity closer to home. We launched Project One Circle to drive sustainable change in communities lacking equitable, social, and economic opportunities. We have begun work in 31 First Nations across Canada. Today we will be highlighting three food security projects with major commercial intent and an agri-science entrepreneurial project. These projects have been undertaken with our partner communities, Muscoday, Mistawasis, Muskeg Lake, and Little Black Bear First Nation. Because people, planet, and prosperity are completely linked in Project One Circle, we have built four greenhouses across three First Nations in Treaty 6 territory in Saskatchewan. In our needs assessment with our partner nations, we heard repeatedly that food security is a priority. We needed a solution that would start producing results quickly, but that could also be a sustainable source of fresh, healthy food with the potential to develop revenue streams. And that led to the construction of four greenhouses. Developed for year-round growing, they can supply each nation with 600,000 pounds of food annually. That's a major source of food security, with over $200,000 in yearly revenue. Just as crucially, the greenhouses are built beside a school, allowing the students and community members to come together and learn hands-on about sustainable agriculture and participate in traditional land-based learning. For the second component of our food security project, we took that land-based approach further and started developing two food forests. A food forest is like a massive community garden, only more sustainable because it doesn't have to be replanted and requires less maintenance since it mimics a natural ecosystem. It brings together indigenous approaches to agriculture with innovative permaculture concepts and brings the community together, creating a fully organic and fully sustainable ecosystem. Our food forests reflect the nation's desire to reconnect people with traditional practices around food and nutrition, culture and agriculture, while also increasing food security and providing a much needed source of revenue. It's all intertwined in our partner nations. These food forests grow roots as strong as the culture that nourishes them and reflect the resilience of the people who harvest them. These greenhouses and food forests will nourish the body as they nourish the soul, grow a love of learning while bringing social and cultural prosperity as they bring economic prosperity. Because people, planet, and prosperity are completely linked in Project One Circle, we are building right now three aquaponics facilities in three Treaty Six First Nations. Aquaponics is the combination of aquaculture, which is the growing of fish, and hydroponics, which is the growing of plants without soil. The waste produced by fish supplies nutrients to the plants grown hydroponically. In turn, those plants purify the water. The nutrient and oxygen-rich environment created by aquaponics grows plants three times as quickly and produces eight times more food per acre compared to traditional farming. It also uses 90% less water than traditional farming as the water is continuously cycled through the plants and fish tank, with the only water loss stemming from evaporation. Our three aquaponics facilities will provide our partner nations with an abundant source of fish protein and fresh produce. But wait, it gets better. And it gets bigger. Our aquaponics facilities have been created in partnership with Wabatec BDC and are fully funded by the Department of Fisheries and Oceans Northern Integrated Commercial Fisheries Initiative. Training First Nation staff on the operation and maintenance of aquaponic systems has started. Once training is completed and the nations are ready, the facilities will be expanded into large commercial operations, creating an entire new industry with our partner First Nations. And that industry has massive opportunity. The global demand for seafood and fish products far exceeds what can be caught in the wild. Within the next 10 years, aquaculture output will have to double production to keep pace with demand. And the biggest opportunity is right here in North America. We consume 12.9% of the world's aquaculture production, yet produce just 1% of it. 
In dollar values, we consume over $32 billion of the world's aquaculture production and produce just over $2 billion. The demand is here, and our First Nation partners are going to meet it. These aquaponics facilities will safeguard the environment as they safeguard the nation's futures. They will create fresh, healthy food as they create jobs, and they will build an industry as they build hope. Our leadership have fantastic vision for the future prosperity of their communities. However, a lot of times the day-to-day -day issues that come up when you're managing a community can be really overwhelming. And when you have so many pressing issues today, it's hard to focus on that long-term vision for the future. For me, that's really been the secret sauce of the Synactus relationship. They've been able to add a level of expertise and project planning to our community projects, and they're gonna help us achieve that long-term vision of prosperity. The great thing is that the students understand that prosperity isn't always about money. It's not bags of money that our communities need. The projects that we're building reconnect youth with the land, reconnect youth with traditional knowledge by engaging with elders. And most importantly, it creates sparks of interest in future careers that will allow the youth to utilize their most important resources, the land and each other. Because people, planet and prosperity are completely linked in Project One Circle, Muscaday, Muskeg Lake, and Mistawasis First Nations have sustainable food security solutions. That's over 7,000 people who know that regardless of global pandemics and supply chain issues, they will have access to fresh, healthy food grown by communities themselves using a combination of modern agriculture and traditional Indigenous approaches to food production. Over the next 12 months, the greenhouses, aquaponics, and food forests will supply these three nations with over 725,000 pounds of food worth over $835,000. Even more than that, Project One Circle gives these nations communal goals to work towards and new education and training opportunities, including opportunities that elevate Indigenous culture and learning. It's all intertwined in our partner nations. They've inspired us as they've inspired each other. Because people, planet, and prosperity are completely linked in Project One Circle, the final project we would like to highlight is the building of a vermicompost business in Little Black Bear First Nation in Treaty 4 territory. Better Earthworms produces a general purpose, high quality organic plant fertilizer. This plant fertilizer, known as vermicompost, is made from food waste. Food waste is fed into a flow through system that hosts hundreds of thousands of worms. The worms eat the food waste and create an end product that can be sold as an organic soil fertilizer, one that's superior to man-made chemical fertilizers. What kind of end product do the worms create? Worm casting or worm manure? You mean worm poop? Yes, I mean worm poop. Better Earthworms uses traditional land-based values used to produce a green, renewable, all-natural, organic product. It's a product for the land, from the land, produced by the people of the land. This provides better earthworms with a significant competitive advantage in a $77 million market, poised to more than double by 2026. And with a home base in Saskatchewan, better earthworms has easy access to the highest number of organic farmers in Canada. Research shows that over 20% of the food produced in Canada annually becomes avoidable food loss, and that is 11 million tons. Better Earthworms provides an organic waste collection service to local food production and food service industries, diverting food waste from the landfill and converting it to the highest quality soil amendment. Our vermicompost fertilizer is already being sold directly to consumers and soon four garden centers in Regina will be selling it. We are on target to generate over $70,000 in revenue this year creating three new jobs while diverting 52,000 pounds of food waste from landfills. A project is also underway with our college's Department of Research and Innovation to study the effect of food supply on the chemical composition of the vermicompost. This project will allow better earthworms to control the nutritional output of their vermicompost, creating a highly specialized product. You mean specialized worm poop? Yes, I mean specialized worm poop. What came from the earth is returned to it, growing healthy, organic food as it grows a business. Using innovation to enhance indigenous traditions while respecting the environment. The earth gives us everything we need to sustain ourselves. But in nature, nothing goes to waste. We take food scraps that would otherwise end up in the landfill and feed it to our earthworms, creating a beautiful, rich compost. As an indigenous-owned company, we think it's crucially important that we are 
innovative, and that we're leaders when it comes to caring for the environment. At Better Earthworms, our goal is to reduce as much waste as possible so that we can give it back to the land. With Project One Circle, we are helping our partner nations gain food security by returning to land-based learning and the agricultural practices at which they once thrived before laws in the 1880s extinguished their farming. That's how we're helping people. We're also focusing on organic growing, increasing crop output while decreasing our carbon footprint, minimizing water usage, reducing food waste going to landfills, and reducing how much food needs to be brought into the nations while decreasing fossil fuel usage. That's how we are impacting the planet. And not only are we creating revenue streams, new businesses, and an entire industry in our partner nations, but we're helping to bring these communities together around common goals renewing their love of agriculture and land-based education while shining a light on the importance of indigenous culture and traditions. That's our idea of prosperity. So the partnership with the Enactus uh, group has provided for our communities an understanding of potential projects that they could be bringing to their, their community members, to the children, as well as providing for potential economic sustainability, uh, building capacities for future generations to take the stronghold and for us, that's an exciting venture. I think this is something that can absolutely grow the potential of our, our youth and potential of the success of our, our children. We can't change the past and what has happened to First Nations in Canada, but through reconciliation built on understanding, trust, and commitment, this project and our team can be a small part of changing the future. We are Anactus Lambton.